and we stand today at the crossroads on the path to peace. We are in an interesting uh, period, a period of hope, a period that introduces new opportunities to advance stability and security in the Middle East. The press association, I think that one of the benefits we can give the person uh, who holds this job, uh, Mr. Andrew Steele, we can give In order to progress in the overall process, we needed to take painful steps. Unfortunately, this step is very painful, but necessary. I will do everything in my power to prevent a rift in the nation. This may be one of the most difficult steps I had to take during my term as prime minister. It may be one of the most difficult steps. My own personal safety does not affect me and does not affect my plans. I'm not concerned and I'm determined to carry out the decision of the government and the Knesset. The only thing that guides me is how to progress and not to delay. I view these threats uh, very gravely. Such threats are intolerable. In my entire life, I have never surrendered to threats, and I have no intention of starting now. Of the assassination of uh, Mr. Hariri. So I wonder what is your uh, uh, reaction? Uh, Israel is a peace-seeking country, as uh, for sure you do know, which strives to achieve peace with all Arab countries, including Syria. Syria encourages terror activity against Israel. The headquarters of the Palestinian terror organizations are uh, located in Damascus. Syria, together with Iran, encourages and finances terror activities of Palestinian terror organizations, as well as Hezbollah's activity against Israel. Syria must expel uh, the terror organization's headquarters from its territory and stop uh, instigating terror against Israel targets, as well as foreign targets in Iraq. Syria must allow the Lebanese army to deploy its forces along the border uh, with Israel. Mr. Prime Minister, yes, Please accept him.